Hi, I'm Jenny Mack with AAA. And I'm Officer Tracy Rebeo with Livermore Police Department. The number one killer of children is car crashes. As all of us in law enforcement know, keeping children safe on our roadways is everybody's job. When properly installed, child restraint systems are 54 to 75 percent effective in preventing fatalities. But unfortunately, statistics show that nearly half of children killed were not even buckled up. So AAA is teaming up with law enforcement to help offer some tips to decipher those tricky California child passenger safety laws. We're going to take a look at the law and we're also going to examine some of the exemptions to the law. And then we're going to teach you how to spot some of those violations and then good note taking for courtroom prosecution. And then we'll conclude with a short review. Vehicle Code 27364 covers legislative intent. It's the intent of the legislature to ensure that children who are helpless dependent passengers are provided with the safest transportation possible. It's further the intent to stress and communicate to all drivers the importance of using child restraints. Vehicle Code 27361 is our probable cause section. This allows the officer who reasonably suspects a car seat violation or a child safety belt violation to pull over the car and issue a citation. California Vehicle Code 27360 states that all children must be properly restrained in the back seat until they are at least eight years old in a car seat or a booster seat. Effective January of 2017, children must ride in a rear-facing car seat until they are two years old, unless they are 40 inches tall or taller, or they weigh 40 pounds or more. Most kids will outgrow their infant carrier and must be moved to a rear-facing convertible seat before their second birthday. If the parent is in the vehicle, you're going to cite them for each child that's unrestrained, not properly restrained, or if that child's seated in the front seat. If the parent is not in the vehicle, you'll use the same section to cite the driver. Some vehicles may include a house car, a motor truck, a truck tractor, or a three-wheeled vehicle. Section 27360.5 covers children ages 8 through 15. Section A states that children must be seated in a car seat, booster seat, or a properly fitted seat belt, and that the citation must be given to the parent in the vehicle. If the parent is not in the vehicle, you use the same section to cite the driver. That driver may be a neighbor, daycare provider, or even a grandparent. Our California law refers to the term child restraint systems. Child restraint systems include infant only car seat. This seat only faces to the rear of the vehicle. Rear facing convertible seat. Rear facing car seats can never be placed in front of an active airbag. A rear facing convertible seat converts into a forward facing seat. Another forward facing seat is a combination seat. This seat has higher harness slots and can be converted into a booster seat. High back and backless booster seats. These seats must be used with a lap and shoulder belt. Safety vests are just another variation of a child restraint system. Although the law is very clear that children have to be properly restrained in the back seat, there are some exemptions. The exemptions are there is no back seat. There's side facing jump seats or the seat faces backwards. A car seat can't be installed properly in the rear seat. All seating positions are filled with children under the age of eight years old, but remember, you still can't place a rear facing car seat in front of an active airbag. If the vehicle only has lap belts and the child is over 40 pounds, regardless of their age, they can legally sit in a seat belt alone because conventional car seats only go to 40 pounds and you can't use a booster seat with a lap belt only. Another exemption that you need to know, if the child is under the age of eight, but is four feet nine inches tall or taller, they can use a seat belt alone. Sorry, Jamie, the typical child doesn't reach four feet nine inches tall until they're about 11 years old. So you should know where four feet nine inches measures on your body 
or your uniform. Let's watch a typical traffic stop where a car seat violation might occur. Hello. Hello. I'm Officer Vale, Livermore Police Department. The reason I stopped you is you didn't stop at the uh, stop sign back there. Um, did you, uh, are you in a hurry? I am kind of in a hurry to get home. Okay, do you have your license, registration, proof of insurance? Why isn't your child seated in her booster seat? Well, uh, officer, we're only going right down the street. I'm late for work and we've got to get her to daycare. And she gets real fussy. She hates going there, you know, so um, I, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, I've cited you for not stopping at the stop sign and for not having your uh, child in her car seat. I just need your signature in this box here, please. Okay. Thank you, and here's your information back, and I'll give you a copy of this. Okay, okay thank you, officer. All right, drive safe, bye-bye. Thank you. When you complete the citation, here are some suggested notes that you need for court. You need the child's name, their date of birth, their weight, the relationship to the driver. You need your probable cause for your traffic stop. What did the driver say to you? What were her excuses? What was the seating position of the child and how were they restrained? For a quick review, now let's test your child passenger safety law knowledge. You stop a vehicle for speeding. You notice a two-year-old who is clearly under the weight limit, restrained in the back seat with a lap and shoulder belt. Mom is the driver. Do you have a violation, and if so, which section? Yes. Vehicle Code 27360, Section A, because the child is under eight years old and must be properly restrained in a safety seat. You see a child that is not seat belted. Mom is the passenger and her neighbor's the driver. After stopping the vehicle, you determine that he's eight years old. Who do you issue the citation to and which section? Since the child is eight years old, you would cite for 27360.5, section A. You're gonna issue the citation to the mother, not the driver. 
You see a vehicle with a child who appears to be under the age of eight, restrained in a booster seat in the front seat. After stopping the vehicle, dad, the driver, confirms the child is eight years old. Do you have a violation? And if so, which section? No. The child is eight years old, and the back seat portion of the section isn't enforceable. But this may be a good time for some education. It's 40% safer for their child to ride in the back seat and have the parent read the airbag warning label. You see a vehicle with a child who appears to be younger than eight years old, restrained in a seat belt only. Dad, the driver, confirms that he's nine years old. Do you have a violation, and if so, which section? Well, maybe, although 27360.5 section A reads that a child eight years old or older may be restrained by a seatbelt alone, that seatbelt must be worn properly. Properly is now defined as the lap portion of the seatbelt must cross the hips or thighs, never placed over the stomach. The shoulder belt must be crossing the chest, not crossing the throat or neck, and never placed behind the back or under the child's arm. If the seatbelt does not fit properly, then they must be placed back into their booster seat. That's when it's your discretion to cite or to educate the family. Studies show that laws do change driver's behavior. The child passenger safety laws are quite stiff. They carry a one point on their driving record and a minimum fine of $475. But it's important to remember that a portion of those fines actually go back into local child passenger safety programs. We really hope you can take something away from this roll call training video. And remember, the citation that you issue today just may save that child's life tomorrow. Studies show that law... <laughs> okay, this is going to be good. Tracy, do you think people are going to notice that my hair grew six inches and changed color over the course of this video? In 2012, our car seat law changed to protect children up to age eight. So we had to reshoot the video. Don't tell anybody I gained eight pounds. Okay. That'll be our little secret. <laughs>